Hey guys, All Access Pass. We're here at the Province Building uh, interviewing Tom Harrison, uh, the legendary music critic from the province. And uh, Rachel and I are here. We're going to chat with them. And we're also going to go and visit uh, them rehearsing with this band, Lumpy, uh, out in North Van. And we're very excited. It's going to be a fun interview. You said everything. <laughs> We're all access pass. We'll see, you in, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> the 30 years that you've been at the paper, what's any particular bands or artists that stand out interview wise that. I I was still with George Strait when I uh, met Bob Marley, and that was pretty Ooh. good. That was, a pretty, that was, to me, that was one of the um, highlights of my, at that point, very yeah. brief career at that point. Of course. But, uh, was he stoned? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was down in Jamaica uh, in '78 uh, because he was doing a, a peace concert. We went around to the side of his house uh, with uh, some of his friends, and he talked this heavy, heavy Jamaican patois, and I didn't understand a word <laughs> of it, uh, not a word. I right, so. I, I, I figured that he was having a little bit of sport at my expense, you know, because he, he was docking in front of his friends and stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, I can say that I did meet Bob Marley and he was great. That sounds <laughs> but, but I'm in a position, again, not on the that uh, where I can talk about all these bands and, and with any luck, you know, some of these people, you know, can be followed through the paper. I mean, I like look at a guy like Pan Mang and this is not a war, he's put out this album, he's going out going out on tour, he's playing bigger and bigger places. And you, you can follow the progress of this guy and through I hope my call. And uh, and I figure it's just one way to support Local music, especially now that uh, you know, since, since I've had my stroke, you know, it, it, it gets harder for me to go on a regular basis to see new bands. Yeah. But um, I so I sometimes use the emails and stuff that that I get to put together a call that allows me to f see see the call see the bands. Never. <laughs> Matthew Good became popular. Yeah. Now he, he was able to start from virtually nothing, yeah. and then he just worked his way up, and he became one of the most popular unsigned acts in in, in Vancouver clubs. Mm -hmm. And from that, it was inevitable that he got signed and and do a tour. And at that time, I don't think there was anything to charge progress in the newspapers and the media. Yeah. So, but. You can watch. I mean, if you stood on Sundays, you would watch how Matthew was doing this and doing this and doing this. And the artists, um, they do have to take the impetus on themselves, though, and do it like Matthew. He is a genius at oh, uh, marketing himself. He's but see, you picking up on the people that are good at that and and expanding their word, I think, is invaluable. Yeah. Well, a lot of it, a lot of it depends upon the bands themselves. I mean, because I've been, I'm only as good is the information I have. Yes. So it's up to the bands, if, if they have a new album or are going out on tour, um, let me know. I mean, it's one thing to say, hey, they went on tour and they played Kenora and they played Winnipeg and they played Brandon and they played, you know, but that doesn't mean anything to anybody. But in, if you say in Brandon they met up with so and so and so and so and they ended up jamming, or they had their gear stolen outside of Saskatoon, you go, ah, it, you know, it, <laughs> it, it makes it real real for people. Yes, exactly. and, uh, that, that brings us around to something that we were discussing the other day. I grew up in this city and opened up the paper to look for what you have to say. The point being is this, this is I, I think what largely led to, or partly led to, your award your induction in induction into the BC Entertainment Hall of Fame, which yeah. we haven't actually had a chance to chat about. We did a little bit at the yeah. hall, but um. I, I, you know, I, it was thrown for a loop 
what, what you know for, at first what does this all mean and uh, so, so a couple of people said it's it's really Whole body. Excuse yourself. <laughs> what is it? Electronic. Created a monster now. Electrical <laughs> gas. I gotta put my earplugs in now. But you were saying that you didn't understand why you were being honored. Well, yeah. In a way. I mean, but and so then someone. And we do. This. We yeah. fully understand it because, like I said, we're opening up the paper every day. The yeah. province. What's yeah, Tom got to say? That, that's a matter of perception, I think. Because to me. You know, for years I've just been going to the office, sitting down behind the computer, and yeah. writing. And that's all I yeah. do. And to me, that's what I do. But Tom, not only are you a music critic, but you're also uh, a songwriter, and yeah. as we found out yesterday, a fantastic singer. Oh, good. It was great. I was like, wow, like just the lots of power in your voice, and you got a cool rasp. And yeah, <laughs> the last might come from not singing a long, long time. <laughs> As you know, as a singer, it's a, it's a muscle, right? Yeah. You have to exercise all the but time. But it sounds cool, though. It's nice yeah, to have that, that grit there. There we go! just meshes in, in, a, in a really nice way. And we, when we made the album, we just set up and played. We didn't fuss with what sounded good, with com amp combinations and stuff yeah. like that. We just set up and played as if we were doing a club gig somewhere. Now can and, the album, you have an album yeah, available, right? Yeah. Can you get it at CD Baby? CD Baby, and uh, it's on MySpace as well. And on MySpace uh, as well. But thank you so much. Look, uh, enjoy your gig tonight. Yeah. It's at the Hotel Vancouver. Oh, the Hotel Vancouver, yeah. yeah. okay. It's a big, apparently a big ceremony. Um, I think the people sponsoring it are from Hepatitis C, C. Okay. I mean, they represent that organization. Okay. And, uh, okay, well, say hi to Bob Geldof <laughs> for us. Yes. And, <laughs> and thanks so much for spending some time with us and, uh, and sharing your stories. And sharing it's your stories. It's fantastic. Great. And, uh, yes, it was a fun interview. Today. I know. He's, I he, know. he's a great talker. He's got some fantastic stories. Some just 30 years of experience with the province. Yeah. All Access Pass. Thanks for joining us.